Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I seal my oil pesto paintings. As you may already know, oil pesto paintings never fully dry. They tend to harden and fix over time, but they will always be very susceptible to scratches and dust. So if you want to protect your painting, you need to either apply a fixative or frame it under glass. Now most artists don't like to put their pieces under glass. The reason is because that creates a layer between the viewer and the painting and sometimes glasses are very reflective. Under certain lighting conditions, glasses create very unflattering glares and shadows. So the other alternative is to use a fixative. A fixative is a substance you apply over the painting to fix the oil pastel pigment so that they don't move on your touch. Uh, now there are fixative sprays such as the Sennelier oil pastel fixative which tends to be a bit on the expensive side. I have tried less expensive spray fixatives as well but the thing is they are of really poor quality so if you're gonna use a, a spray fixative my recommendation is to go for a good brand such as the Sennelier. So I don't use spray fixatives that much what I use are these two products. One is the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. I use this to varnish my acrylic paintings as well. The second product is Ranger Multimedia Matte. You also get a gloss version of this product. So I'm gonna take this oil pastel painting that I did in three sections just for this video. And I'm gonna use the Liquitex product on the first block, the Ranger product on the second, and I'm going to leave the last piece free so that you can compare the difference. It's all fully dry now. The Ranger Multimedium took twice as much time as the other medium to fully dry. I don't know whether you can see it properly but the Liquitex varnish leaves a beautiful shine which I happen to personally like. The matte medium doesn't have a shine obviously because it's matte. If you get the gloss version of this you'll probably be able to see a shine. Uh, and I also like that both mediums seem to enhance the contrast a lot more and bring out the colors. This is a known behavior of a varnish, so I prefer the Liquitex varnish over the other over the matte medium. Hope you can see that the pigments don't lift. I feel that they are completely sealed. If you really put some force and scratch the surface, of course it will be damaged. But other than that, I think the pigments are very well protected from touch, dust and also generally mild scratches. So you can see how much pigment comes off to my finger from the last block. The only downside of these two products is that there's a chance that they might react on your paintings over time because both these products are not meant to be used as fixatives. They are not specialized products. It's probably not good for professional use. I just wanted to show you a less expensive alternative. Alright, so that's about it for this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching this and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.